Good morning everybody. What is happening? We are getting ready to do a hedge trimming job. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. Uh, my man Jacob's with me. We got a special surprise for you guys today. And I will be back because I got to get stuff unloaded. Jacob's yelling at me. I'll see you in a minute. Sorry about that guys. The customer wanted to talk to me, which I mean, how dare he? You know what I mean? How dare he want to talk to me? And then this guy, yeah. Good morning. He's a lot meaner than he acts, trust me. Almost hit me in the eye earlier. I'm just kidding. Anyway, we're gonna trim these. We're gonna trim those. You can call them taxes, you can call them use, whatever you want to call them. I'm not gonna argue with you. Then we got some down there, we got a couple in the back, and then we're just going down the other side. But like I said today, we got something special for you. And uh, I'm kind of excited. Uh, so, yeah, let, let's just get to work. How about that? Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Just wait till I'm done. Okay guys, so what we're doing, and I already asked the homeowner, he said it was perfectly fine, he loves it. We're cutting these up, raking up what's left, taking it with us. So, in less than 10 minutes, three hedges all done, and uh, we'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, let me show you something. I've been waiting for this. Man, where'd you get that snazzy truck? Look at that. Pretty much all the bad boy reps have one of those. Man, there you go, guys. Become a bad boy rep and drive around in that beautiful truck. What do we got here? Well, we've got the new bad boy backpack blower. Oh, my goodness. Look at that beast. And the ST-254 Look at that. And that is a beast, Joe. What does that compare to Echo-wise, Steel-wise? That's it's, it's pretty much the, the biggest. That that's they the have. biggest yeah. they got. Yeah. Wow. 
I don't know guys, that looks pretty sweet. Man, looks comfortable too. Oh my goodness. Can you adjust the tube or is that the way it stays? Yeah, you can, it comes in different sections so you can make it longer. Than okay. And that trimmer is nice too. You're going to have to show me uh, the, the gist of this thing. Yep. All right, guys, we'll be back. Look at that. Oh, man. Ooh. Okay, guys, we're getting back to work. I'll tell you what, Joe is such a wonderful human being. Not, a, not, a, not just a nice guy, just a wonderful human being. And I, I tried the trimmer, okay? Um, lighter than the FS-111R. Uh, I would say by maybe, now I don't have the specs. Joe is gonna send me the specs in an email and I'll do, I'll put those on a video. Anyway, um, he'll send me the specs. I'll do a video on that this week, uh, possibly Wednesday, tomorrow. Um, I will tell you this, the blower, 639 is the cost. The trimmer, 399. Now they have a trimmer that's one step up from that. It's 439, which is much cheaper than I paid for my steel equipment. So I'm really excited about trying it out. I did try it out already. Of course, you know me, I gotta try the trimmer out. Man, the, the weight difference is amazing. Um, it literally felt like the weight was going into my hand and not my shoulders. So that means a lot to me. But anyway, we're, we will talk about that thing till I'm blue in the face the next couple of videos. And next week I'll have it all week to try out so you guys will see it. And uh, hey, let's get back to uh, hedge trimming. Try to play, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody and stain from the people who deceive me Muddy ends break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange uh, I'll be the best above all the rest Put me to the test uh. Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next, yeah. He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second, this life is a lesson. He got a new engine from pain, that's a blessing, new focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession, all in his possession. You got the retention, I leave an impression and take a redemption, just kill no discretion. Your mind is a weapon, 11, 11, it's time for progression, oh! You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody and stain from the people who deceive me. Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me. Okay, guys, we got one more bush. I'll show it to you when it's over, and uh, we'll get on to using some of that bad boy equipment. Hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, I'll tell you what, I don't know if you noticed when Jacob got done trimming, he went right to doing something else. That's the that is the sign that you want to see from a guy that he's a worker. Didn't didn't wait to be asked what to do, just went and did something else. I, I'm telling you, man, that, that's important out here. So I'll see you in a minute, guys. Okay, guys, there they are. The two pieces of equipment we're going to be trying out for the next week. I want you guys to get a good look at those. It's the BB-1060. Now there is, I believe, there may be a blower that is one step ahead of that one. I'm not sure. I may be wrong about that. I'll have to look at the information again. There is a trimmer that is one step ahead of the ST-254. Since this stuff is new, I've got to go with the cheat sheet here. And, okay, the 1060 is the biggest blower. 79.2 cc, 1069 cfm. 
has a one-year commercial warranty. They also have another backpack blower, the BB-880 at 60.9cc, 885 CFM, one year. This one is 639, that one is 529. The ST-254 is a 24.4cc, one year commercial warranty, 399. The ST-300 Turbo is a 30.1 cc, it's 439 and it has a one year commercial warranty. So those are the two different types. This is the biggest blower, this is the smaller trimmer. This thing is really awesome so far. We're gonna trim this place with it, get some footage for you, and then we'll get some footage blowing this off. 78 decibels and uh, it's a category three, whatever that means. That's the kind of stuff that Doc doesn't care about. Can it blow grass? Can it blow leaves? That's all I care about. So, now I've already used this once, but I'm gonna use it again, so let's get to it. Okay, so one thing I do like about it, and I was telling Joe, it's got a really soft grip here, and this grip is at an angle. So it's like where your hand naturally would set. It's really nice. You got your speeds here. You can go low, you can go high. Your kill switch right there. Up is choke. There's your handle. Okay, so I don't know if this would be a bother to you guys, but when you squeeze the trigger, almost your whole hand goes on the trigger. I kind of, I kind of like it. So I don't know. I'll have to tell you after a week's worth of using it, but so far not too bad. I know if it was my trimmer, I would not have the guard on it, but I can't take the guard off. So. See, that's how it. Uh, I trimmed the curbs already, trimmed the outside and around the trees. We're going to let Jacob take this thing for a uh, spin here.
Tell you what, guys. For me, just for me, uh, the trimmer has plenty of power. I don't like the stock trim line. Um, we'll get into it afterward. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're going to ask Jacob, what did you think of the blower, first of all? The blower was, was really good. Is it comfortable? Yeah. To me, to me, the blower is super comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it works. You know, for you know, for what we're using it for, it's 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 effective. It does what it's supposed to. And the trimmer. Yeah, the trimmer. I I liked it. Okay. I, I, I've used worse. Um, it sure it it could cut through. You know, it could cut a little easier, I suppose. But I've, you know, like I said, I've I've used worse. Yep. So. Did you like you know, the I, trigger? How your fingers almost all go on it? Yeah, that, that was. A, I mean, I I didn't notice anything that would, you know, that's gonna hurt your day of trimming or whatever. Right. Your job, whatever. Um. So. Yeah. It, it, I don't know. I thought it was okay. Okay. Was pretty good. All right, so for me, oh yeah, cool, thanks, man. Oh, I got a cameraman now. Look at this, we're getting big time, guys. So for me, the blower is extremely comfortable. I think once it breaks in, it's gonna have more power. Even my uh, BR800X, when I first got it, it didn't have the power it has now. Um, I'm sure the pollution stuff they put on them stops them from being it reminds me of an echo 8010t the sound of it um definitely doesn't have the blowing power of the 8010 um not sure that it has the blowing power of the 800x um doesn't seem to yet but i think the more it breaks in it has that ability it, it's like it's there because it does have power um I had to adjust the handle because you can adjust the handle on them so that actually helped because um, I don't like feeling even though I'm short I like my arm being out a little bit farther so that was cool that they have that feature it's lightweight I can tell you that on your back it's not heavy like the 80 the 800x definitely not heavy like the echo um, and the echo feels real bunchy when you put it on like it's digging into you this one does not do that this is comfortable the trimmer if i could put which i will next week the copper headline i'm going to ask joe if i can take the guard off if i cannot take the guard off i'd say the trimmer is a good trimmer is it in line with the steel no not but I don't think the Echo is when you take the guards off. I think the steel is the best trimmer. If you are allowed to, if I'm allowed to take that guard off and give it like a real review, I think it's gonna be great, man. I do like the bigger trigger. I like how the handle kind of offset there. Did you like that? Did you notice it, how the handle yeah. offset? Mm -hmm. That was comfortable. It's light, isn't it? Yeah. It's a very light trimmer. Yeah, easy to use. That's... Yeah, very easy to flip around. Um, so I like it. Um, I'll know more next week. I want to get the copper head line in it. The line that comes from the factories, man, it's always real thin. It may be 095, but it's still very thin. And I don't like that line. So that's what I think today. I'm sure as next week progresses, things will change. But for the price of the stuff, man, even today, it's a no-brainer. You can't get steel equipment that cheap. You can't get echo equipment that cheap. So I like it. Um, and, of course, I want to show you guys some wheel marks. Thank you, Jacob. You're welcome. I'm going to show you some fantastic wheel marks. And I want to thank Joe again for coming out, man, taking time with me. Very nice guy. Oh, look at the wheel marks, baby. You may call them stripes. No. Class A wheel marks. And that's for you, Sensei Lou. Guys, we are done. We are going home. 
I can't thank Jacob enough. Jacob, thank you, my friend. You're welcome. Thank Appreciate you. you, buddy. Yeah, thank you. And uh, he said, if anybody has a problem with me, you got a problem with him. <laughs> now, he didn't say that. I'm just kidding. But uh, he did punch me in the face. No, I just kidding. No, we're having fun, man. We're done. We got, a, we got a good bit done today. Not a lot. There's not really a lot to do this week, but there's something to do. So I know we're getting rain this week. Uh, who knows how much. Um, if I would have cut the yards this week, the unfortunate part is as soon as I cut them, they're starting to look brown again, aren't they? Yeah. So dry. I'm kind of glad I didn't cut, but the only just the two yards I cut. So guys... Hope you have a great day. Hope you have a blessed day. God loves you. We love you. Jacob loves you. Miss Sarah loves you. And uh, as always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, we're going to put some mulch down. We're going to do some hedge trimming. Well, he's going to do some hedge trimming because, uh, well, I don't want to work anymore. I just, you know, I just don't. No, I'm kidding. I'll see you guys. Peace.